everyone welcome back to the college review series by Akash in today's episode we are going to explore Indian Institute of Technology Mandi so stick around as we explore everything about this IIT about its campus courses placements fee structure and yes the pros and cons of coming here to IIT Mandi Indian Institute of Technology Mandi is one among the eight newer second generations of IIT. The IIT is a research university which is now located in Kaman Valley, which is 14 kilometers from Mandi town, a district in Himachal Pradesh. According to NIRF 2024, the IIT has been ranked 8th in the innovation category, 31st in the engineering category and 72nd in the overall category. Now let's talk about its wonderful campus. Surrounded by lush green mountains and Uhal River flowing through, the campus offers a pleasant, calm and peaceful environment for students. The campus is spread across two parts, the North and the South campus and both the campuses are bestowed with excellent parallel views of Himalayas, rivers, flora and fauna with peaceful atmosphere surrounded by greenery and pleasant sounds of rivers. The campus provides various facilities such as world-class laboratories, modern classrooms, state-of-the-art library, fully equipped research centers, hostels along with the auditorium complex, the sports complex, guest house and a health center. Talking about the courses, then IIT Mandi provides Bachelor of Technology in various branches. It provides courses such as civil engineering, computer science and engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, data science and engineering, engineering physics along with some new programs such as material science and engineering, general engineering, microelectronics and VLSI. In addition, IIT Mandi offers a BTEC MTEC integrated dual degree program in bioengineering. Let's have a look at the fee structure for BTEC program from IIT Mandi. The fee per semester includes institution fee including tuition fee, registration, campus charges which is about 1,6200. Further, the other charges are one-time non-refundable charges, one-time deposit and medical cover. So the entire fee for the first semester comes about to be 1,28,950 for general category students. For ST, SC and PWD category, the fee per semester is going to be 28,950 as they don't have to pay tuition fee which is 1 lakh rupee. Further, the fee for BTEC 2024 preparatory course is 24,950 and for foreign nationals, the fee is going to be 3 lakh 84,950 for first semester. Therefore, four years of BTEC from IIT Mandi will cost you around 10 lakh. And if we include charges such as mess and hostel charges, then the entire BTEC program will cost you approximately 12 lakh rupees. With this, IIT Mandi offers certain fee waivers to its economically weaker section students, like for ST, SC, and PWD candidates, 100% remission of tuition fee, full remission of tuition fee to all the general and OBC candidates with family income less than 1 lakh. Two third of the tuition fee remission to all the candidates with family income between 1 lakh to 5 lakh. Now let's have a look at the scholarship schemes offered by IIT Mandi. Merit come means scholarship for general OBC, ST, SC category students. Central Sector Scholarship for SC Students by Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, National Fellowship and Scholarship for Higher Education of ST Students and other scholarships such as Prime Minister's Research Fellowship PMRF. Talking about the admission process and eligibility criteria, then the students seeking admission in one of the BTEC courses here at IIT Mandi need to pass Class 12 board examination with Physics, Chemistry and Mathematics as their course subjects. For general category, the required percentage is 75 and for ST, SC and PWD category of the students, the required aggregate is 65%. Further, the students must clear J advanced to be eligible for admission process. For that, you need to first of all clear J main paper 1. Foreign nationals can register themselves for J advanced straight away as they need not to clear J main paper 1. Thereafter, you register yourself for JOSA counselling based on the marks secured in your J Advanced. 
Based on the seat assigned after JOSA counselling, the students need to get their documents verified and pay the required fees. For foreign nationals, they get accepted through DASA and ICCR schemes. Moving on to the placements now. So the placement statistics for the year 2024-25 is yet to be released by the institute. So let's rely on the data which is available on the website for the session 2023. So as per the IIT Mandi placements 2023 final reports, 192 companies posted for placements, 304 students were placed, making it a placement percentage of 72.39%. The highest package stood at Rs 16 lakh per annum with average CTC as 22.38 lakh per annum and median CTC as 18.5 LPM. The students placed in various branches are 89.32% in CAC branch, 61.66% in electrical engineering, 66.67% in mechanical engineering, 31.25% in chemical engineering, 85.71% in data science and engineering, 29.41% in engineering physics and 70% in bioengineering students were placed along with 81 pre-placement offers were made. During the IIT Mandi Summer Internship Placement 2023, 63.5% of the participating students were placed on campus while 36.5% of the students were placed off campus. Here is a long list of recruiters who participated in the placement drive of 2023-24. Now let's talk about the J Advanced Cutoff for the year 2024-25. So here is the branch wise cutoff for the same year after fifth round of JOSA counselling. For material science and engineering, the rank cutoff for this branch opened for general neuter at 12,859 and closed at 14,440. For civil engineering, the opening rank stood at 9,968 and the closing rank was 12,562. For computer science and engineering, the rank went as high as 1803 and the rank closed at 3118. For data science and engineering, the opening rank for general neutral was 3222 and the closing rank was 3918. Here is the branch wise cutoff for all the remaining branches. You can pause the video or take a screenshot. For category wise rank cutoff for various courses and categories, do visit the link given in the description. Talking about the fest and students life here at IIT Mandi, then the IIT conduct quite a few intercollegiate fest round the year. So the fest conducted here are Exodia which is a tech cult fest, Raniti the sports fest, Estrax the astronomy fest, Ruwan the lit fest, Utkarsh tech fest and Kala which is the art fest. Now let's find out what do the students at IIT Mandi have to say about their college. It is the best and has the most beautiful campus. Our college provides a good academic environment. The hostel food is okay and there are a few canteens to keep things changing. The institute is still new and not in a major city so you will feel it tough to gather sponsors for any event. Numerous clubs and activities to do. Nightlife is average around the college as the college is in a remote area. Hostel rooms are of different sizes, single, double and triple occupancy. For first year students usually get a shared room. We have a long winter vacation from early December till mid February. Excellent location. The place offers many scenic sports such as Kulu Manali, Manikaran, Hot Springs, Dharamshala where you can go for weekend outings with friends. Now here is the reality check. There is no doubt about that IIT Mandi has rapidly developed into a notable institution among the newer IITs. Though being located in the serene Himalayan region, there are some challenges that you might have to face due to its location. So let's throw some light on both the sides of the coin and talk about the pros and cons of coming here at IIT Mandi. Talking about the pros first, then certainly IIT Mandi provides a tranquil setting to study. Being a research university, IIT Mandi fosters a robust research environment for students and faculty. Further, the IIT has collaborations with international universities including members of the TU9 consortium in Germany and institutions in Norway, Japan and the USA providing students with global exposure. On the contrary, talking about the cons now, so being located in the remote area, students sometimes face challenges in accessing certain amenities. 
Then, unlike IITs situated in metropolitan areas, the IIT Mandi's location limits students' exposure to urban industries and networking opportunities. Further, being located in rural areas, the opportunities for students for local internships and industry exposures are definitely limited as compared to IITs located in metro cities. So, to conclude, while IIT Mandi certainly provides a unique and enriching academic environment for the students to study, along with decent placements and commendable research opportunities, students should also consider the implications caused due to its remote location as the call is all yours now because this was all from me today now you let me know in the comment section which other iit or which other college do you want me to review next and don't forget to press the like and subscribe button so you do not miss out on any updates for more such informative content stay connected